Hello everyone! Ito ang part 3 ng ating video about simple interest. This is our formula, our I, yung ating interest, yung tubo, is just equal to the products ng ating P, yung principal amount, ito yung pera na invested or borrowed, tapos yung R natin, ito yung rate of interest, dapat ito ay nasa decimal kapag nagkocompute na tayo. Kung nasa percentage siya, kailangan natin siyang ilipat, and then lastly, imumultiply din siya sa time, it should be in years. Ito lang yung formula natin sa ating simple interest. Kailangan lang natin kunin yung products ng ating P, ng R, tsaka ng T. And then next, we have our F. Ito yung maturity or future value. Ito yung amount natin kapag kinuha natin yung ating principal amount, tapos dinagdag na natin yung ating interest na na-compute. Yung ating maturity or future value, this is the amount of money to be received or paid kapag tinuusta natin yung ating interest. Now that we have our formulas, let us proceed sa ating example. This is our third word problem. Kung gusto nyo panoorin yung ating una at saka pangalawang example, ilalagay ko na lang yung link sa ating description. Now let us have this example. A businessman invested 80,000 pesos. Ito yung ating investment in a firm which will earn an annual simple interest of 12%. Nilalagyan na natin ng mark yung mga values na kailangan natin. But we have our situation, financial needs arise and he has to take them out in 9 months only. Ang tanong natin, kapag kinuha niya na yung pera, magkano yung matatanggap niya? Let's start this problem with our given values. Ano ba yung meron tayo? Para pagdating natin ng computation, dere-derecho na lang tayo sa substitution. First, we have our investment. Ito yung nilagay natin na pera dun sa firm. This 80,000 pesos is our principal amount. So, this is our capital letter P. Meron tayong 80,000 pesos. Next given na tayo, meron tayong annual simple interest rate of 12%. Kaso nga lang, ang problema natin nasa percentage siya. As we have discussed earlier, dapat nasa decimal to sa ating computation. Kaya yung ating 12%, kapag ililipat natin siya into our decimal form, dahil whole number siya, ang kanyang decimal point ay nandito, kailangan lang nating mag-move ng dalawang decimal places to the left. Kaya kung nandito tayo, usod tayo ng isa and then dalawa, this is our new decimal point. Our 12% is just equal to 0.12. Kaya isulat natin our R, rate of interest. Ang given natin ay 12%, that is just equal to 0.12. Okay na tayo dito, nasa decimal na siya. Next, meron tayong 9 months na time. Kaso nga lang, yung time natin should be in years. Kaya yung 9 months natin, isiko-convert natin into years. Kaya we have our 9 months. Lagay ko na lang siya as 9MO. Para ma-convert natin siya, let us multiply it. Dahil nasa taas yung months, its equivalent should be in our denominator. Tapos we are converting it into years. Tapos isulat natin yung ating conversion value sa loob ng isang taon, merong labindalawang buwan. Kaya etong part na to, this is just equal to 1. Kasi equivalent yung nasa numerator na 1 year at dun sa nasa denominator na 12 months. As we have our units, pwede nating i-divide kasi nasa numerator to, we can remove our months. As we multiply, 9 times 1, this is just equal to 9. Tapos yung denominator natin is 12, so this is 9 over 12. Ano yung unit na natira? We have our years. Since less than 1 siya, this is just in year. Then simplify na rin natin siya, kunin natin yung ating lowest term. Yung 9 tsaka yung 12 natin, they are both divisible by 3. 9 divided by 3 is just 3. Tapos yung ating 12 divided by 3, that is just equal to 4. Kaya this is 3 over 4 year. Isulat na natin siya dito, our time is 9 months or 3 over 4 of a year. Then, ano yung kailangan nating isolve? According to our problem, ang hinihingi ay yung amount na kanyang makukuha. Ibig sabihin, hindi lang yung interest yung concerned natin, hindi lang yung tubo. Ang ahanapin natin ay yung final amount na makukuha ng businessman sa kanyang investment. So with that, let us start our solution. Doon tayo sa ating formula. For our simple interest, ang formula natin is I is equal to the products nung principal amount times the rate times the time. Kailangan muna nating dumaan sa ating simple interest kasi yung hinahanap natin na final amount, 
this is equal to our principal plus the interest. Kaya ang approach natin dito, kunin muna natin yung interest para makuha natin yung ating final amount. Since meron na naman tayong given values, isasubstitute na lang natin sila dito sa ating formula. Now, let's start our computation. Yung value ng ating interest ay is this equal to ang principal amount natin is 80,000. Kaya this is 80,000. Ang susunod na kailangan natin is our rate. Our rate of interest is just equal to 0.12. Then we substitute here 0.12. And lastly, our time, we have our 3 over 4. Nasa years na naman siya, kaya wala na tayong problema. I-adjust lang natin yung formula ng ating final amount. Now we perform our multiplication. Gamit na lang tayo ng ating calculator. Isa-isahin muna natin siya yung ating 80,000 times 0.12. This is equal to 9,600. Tapos, i-multiply natin siya sa ating 3 over 4, which is equal to 0 0.75. Pero kung sanay na naman kayo gumamit ng inyong calculator, you may solve it directly. Input nyo lang to. Then, for our process, our simple interest ay 9,600 times 0 0.75. This is just equal to 7,200 pesos. Ito na yung ating interest kapag meron tayong investment na 80,000 at a rate of 12%, medyo malaki yung interest natin na rate, at kinuha siya in 3 over 4 of a year. Then finally, ang kailangan natin ay yung F, this is our final amount or maturity value. We use this formula, we get our principal amount that is just equal to 80,000, tapos idadagdag natin yung na-compute natin na interest na 7,200 pesos. So we have our final amount as principal is 80,000 pesos plus yung interest na na-compute natin na 7,200. Yung investment ng ating businessman of 80,000 pesos will become 87,200 pesos after applying yung ating interest na 12% in a span of 9 months. And this is the process kung paano tayo magkocompute ng simple interest at final amount or final value Kapag yung given na time natin is not in years, meron pa tayong extra step na conversion mula sa months papunta sa year. Hello everyone! I am Sir Kenneth of STEM Teacher PH. Kung nakatulong sa'yo itong video na to, don't forget to hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, and click the notification bell para updated kayo sa ating uploads. Bye!